the long road home seemed to go on and on. The road continued to stretch in front of the vehicle endlessly. The light that shone through the branches of the tall green trees danced across the window in random patterns, every once in a while obnoxiously shining in your eyes. The surrounding was full of deep green trees forming a forest around the road. The only sound was the sound of the car's engine as it traveled down the path. It was peaceful and let off a serene feeling. Although the ride seemed like a nice one, it lacked every form of nice for both passengers. The middle-aged woman behind the steering wheel had neat, short brown hair that fit her complexion quite well. She wore a green v-neck t-shirt and a pair of blue jeans. Diamond stud earrings decorated each of her ears, which partially showed from behind her haircut. She had deep green eyes, which were brought out by her shirt, and the lighting seemed to make them more noticeable. There wasn't much significance to her appearance. She just looked like any average mother that you'd see on TV shows and such. But one thing for sure that made her differ from those average mothers, and that was the dark bags under her eyes. Her facial expression was gloomy and sad, although she genuinely looked like one who smiled a lot. She would sniffle every once in a while and occasionally glance back in the rearview mirror to look back at her son in the back seat, who was hunched over partially. His arms held tight around his chest and his head pressed against the cold window. The boy lacked any normal appearance. Anyone can blandly see that something was wrong with him. His messy brown hair went in every which way and his pale, almost gray skin was brought out by luminescent lighting. His eyes were dark, unlike his mother's, and he wore a white t-shirt and scrub pants that had been provided to him by the hospital. The clothes he had worn before were so shredded and bloodstained that they weren't wearable anymore. The right side of his face spared a few cuts along his split eyebrow. His right arm was bandaged up all the way up to his shoulder, which had been shredded when his right side had hit the shattered glass. His injuries appeared to be painful, when really he couldn't feel a thing. He never could feel a thing. That was just one of the glories about being him. One of the many challenges he had to face growing up was being was growing up with a rare disease that caused him to be completely numb towards pain.